This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. OpenBSD supports variety of file system. I decided to divide it to two categories, native and others. So the native are the Unix native file system, the FFS and FFS2. FFS also is called UFS or Unix file system and FFS stands for fast file system. FFS2 is developed to address the shortcoming of FFS and it has some features such as handling the larger capacity files as well as the larger capacity hard drives. And when it comes to the other types of file system, we have FAT32, NTFS, which by default is read-only unless you use a tool called NTFS 3G that then supports the read and write, ext2 read and write, ext3 read only, ext4 read only if and only if that is not 64-bit. And also naturally OpenBSC supports ISO files as well as Fuse support. Fuse support has seen some improvement in recent versions that I was not aware of. Enough of talking, let's actually try to mount a FAT32, a NTFS and try to fail mounting EXT4 with 64-bit option, ISO files as well as Fuse. So let's begin. I start with mounting a NTFS partition. So for that one, this NTFS partition actually resides in the external hard drive so to get the idea of the external hard drive or the device let's say name or number we have two ways to do it one is to open the x console and then plug the device other way in case that your device is already plugged what you can do you can actually use the cctl command so do as cctl hw disk names and this one gives you all the disk names. So mine would be SD2. So do as disk label SD2. This will give the list of the partition. And the one that we are going to mount would be the I. So for that one, first of all, we need to actually install the NTFS 3G. So do as pkg add NTFS underscore 3G because we want to actually use it as read and write now to mount it what we can do do as ntfs 3g slash dev sd2i slash mnt it will take a few seconds because the hard drive starts to spin up and the capacity is large afterwards we should have access to the ntfs hard drive or ntfs partition Now, if I go to the slash mnt, so slash mnt, slash music, slash this one, and then this is all my music. So let's unmount this one. Do as unmount slash mnt, and let's move to the next file system. The next file system we are going to explore is the ext4 type. Of course, it's 64 bit. And this one actually resides in my internal hard drive. So what we can do, do as disk label SD0. So we are going to mount this one, which is going to fail. Uh, but we are going to also look for the reason. So that part would be interesting. Do as mount slash dev SD0K slash MNT. And then we need to specify the type ext2fs and we get an error a specified device doesn't match mounted device if we do the message here we see that unsupported incompat features 64 bit so like that we can understand that all right the partition is the ext4 64 bit as a result openbsd cannot mount it Another file system type would be FAT32. For that one, do as disk label SD0. And that one, the label is L. So what we can do, 
do as mount slash div sd0 l slash mnt and if we go to the mnt this is the fat 32 bit partition now let's try to actually mount an iso file mounting an iso file is a bit more complicated than what you can do on linux because first you need to configure a sudo vnode partition or something or a vnode drive and then afterwards you can actually mount the iso file so if we go to the vmm directory here we have freebsd iso file so let's try to mount that one so do as vn config then we have to pass the vnode device vnd0 and then I specify the iso file here so we created a vnd0 and now we can start mounting so mount t cd 9660 slash dev vnd0 c slash mnt and if we ls mnt we should see the freebsd iso file content to unmount it we also have to execute two commands so do as you mount mnt this is normal and then we have to remove that v node so vn config dash u vnd0 so that one also is cleaned up and the last one that we are going to try is the sshfs the older version of the openbsd wouldn't allow you to mount the sshfs without doing do as or without switching to root user but today i just found out that with the sshfs under openbsd 7.2 you can actually mount it without even doing do as or switching to root user so let me quickly demonstrate you sshfs then this one so i'm going to type my raspberry pi address and then let's actually mount the movie directory so mn uh, media smb movies and then we are going to mount it to the test directory here and if i go to the test directory movies and we do ls we can actually access to the movies that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i would like to take a moment to thank patreon contributors grog with 30 gen restaller a stellar orbit with 20 gen restaller openbsc maximalist alexander m monty russell willis openbsc enthusiast dm john collins liquid mobius and openbsc curious sector